ways uh, that I have used in the past, and I'm using this year again, of making my own planner that suits my lifestyle. Because frankly, I find that just buying an, an already made planner from a store, even ordering some of these very expensive, very cute planners online, they just don't fit my needs. Um, I'm a very busy person, I wear many hats, and I find myself needing to have several planners. So this is a system I have come up with for my own use. Perhaps it will help another mom out there, blogger, artist, crafter, businesswoman, uh, that does have to wear many hats just like me. So first of all, <clears throat> my favorite piece is this Wilson Jones binder. The leather, it feels like leather. It's quite luxurious looking. It's a beautiful rose red color. I purchased this almost three years ago at Dollarama. It was priced $3. Personal and business use. The inside is lined with fabric, has these great pockets, one at the inside front and one at the inside back. It also has a pen loop that I have a pencil here. So it's great. I believe this would be a one inch to one and a half inch ring, three ring binder. <clears throat> this particular model and color is probably no longer available, unfortunately, uh, at Dollarama. But this is just to show you that you can do what I did with something similar. The other thing that I use to make my binder are these strips. These strips, they're three holes, they're plastic. These are available from Amazon, actually. Uh, Rubbermaid makes some, T02802. They're called a three-hole punch plastic edge strip magazine holder. And that's what they're intended for. They're intended for holding uh, magazines. What I do is I hold my planners inside my big binder planner. So, for example, I have as my main planner this lovely pink by Mead 2015 weekly monthly planner. This pretty much holds everything I need to know for the year, my commitments for the year, as well as my contacts, <clears throat> notes, and projects. Let me show you here. On the first page of my Mead planner, I used a self-sticking envelope. This is the flap, the sticking part of the flap. I stuck it to the front page. It flips over like this. I reinforced the edge here and here with some washi tape. I use this as a pocket to hold some planning stickers. This planner suits my needs, um, but it doesn't meet all my needs, but it, it does to a big part. What I like about this style planner is that I can see the entire month on a two-page two spread. <clears throat> so then I can take the information from my other planners, which I will show you, and plug that in. So then I know what is due, when it's due, where is due, where I have to be, what appointments are going on for the month in one place and here on this it's it's blank it's pretty blank now except for major holidays and birthdays this will get filled up with my blog posts my youtube videos uh, magazine submission deadline dates medical appointments cat veterinarian appointments household repairs you name it everything will be plugged in here neatly as I get that information. The other thing I did to this planner, if you can see, see this one here? There's a note, there are some pages for notes. 
and I use these sticky tabs that I got at the dollar store also, Dollarama. And my old trusty label maker and made labels for the different sections of my planner. These um, lift off, they're, they're like some off. Um, this part is not sticky and this part's sticky and it's see-through. So it makes for really great page tabs. I have one here for notes. Also, I added my own page divider, which I made out of a file folder. I used the one of the pages from the planner as a template to hole punch holes accordingly. And then I just took apart the spiral here. I just opened it up and slipped everything back in. Simple as that. You can do that with any spiral planner that you buy. You can open up the spiral and stick things in, take things out. And I make and make these, uh, I guess, dividers. Again, dollar store file folders. I made labels for the edges. I just cut these to size to fit my I cut to fit my planner and added the labels. In here I have a section called projects and this I'm not going to show you everything um, but basically what it is is it shows all the things all the projects I have to do that I'm responsible for for the entire year it's on two pages on this page are notes of project ideas that I have this section is my contact. So in here, I took from a previous planner all the pages that had the uh, addresses and, and I tore it out of my older planner. I cut the, this, the older planner was, was bigger, cut the pages, made the holes, inserted it in here. Then I added this. To hold my pen it's a pen holder this I bought it this is basically my main planner that I can take with me I can slip off this plastic strip very easily it just slides on and off like a like a shoe basically it just goes on and off okay. so having done that with my store-bought planner I did this with some other planners. I'm responsible for writing for about six blogs and a website. So it's a lot to manage. It's a lot to remember. I have this, I think I get to show you, yeah. this monthly planner. Every month has a two page spread. Um, I bought this at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure they still have they still have something similar. Uh, mine came with a plastic cover. This this is not the original cover. I covered it with uh, scrap scrapbook paper to kind of coordinate with the rest of my my planner. And of course, I made a title for it with my label maker, and I have it on one of these magazine three hole strips so this this is a calendar that came uh, from the Canadian Cancer Society magazine submissions since I write I write for a website and I also submit to magazines I have deadlines to meet uh, with this agenda this is what I do I just keep track of when everything is due on a two-page spread. I can take notes. This was a freebie that I got, animals. So it had a lot of advertising inside for different types of medication, which I I didn't have a need for. And I just covered all those ads with washi tapes and some white stickers, like label stickers. I kept some of the animals because they're cute. 
the page there were extra pages at the back with extra information such did for that as I just covered them uh, with a white piece of paper and some washi tape kit so I can add in here um, editorial guidelines themes and, and such that it, I get from the magazines so this way I can organize just my magazine submissions in here as I do with just my YouTube videos and my blog posts in these separate planners. I can take them out if I'm working on just one thing and I can put them all together in this binder, put this binder planner together. Thing is I have this folder which I have added stickers to use in my planner to mark special dates, special occasions, events, things. Um, they're, they're a bit decorative, but they also give information. This pencil pouch that I recycled from one of my children's old school binders. And in it, I put a set of writing pens. These, I've seen these recently, so I know they're still available. I also added uh, some adhesive and pencils and some white out, all, all from the dollar store. A little pair of scissors, also from the dollar store. This is not from the dollar store, but it's a little acrylic block that I, I had. And I keep that in here because in the evenings when I work in my planner, I like to use, I might need to use some stamps, uh, so I will have that plus this little, like a little ink pad, a uh, black one. This is not the one I use, but I do have a black one usually in here. And I use, so I just bring this up upstairs to my living room where I can hang out with my husband for the evening. And I use some of these cute stamps that I got from the Sweet Stamp Shop. They're perfect for uh, using in planners and agendas. They have these small writing, small images. They're great for uh, the planner. They're, I just, they're lovely. Furry page protectors. They're top loading and they're snap-in. Like this. And what I did is I printed out a calendar, what I call my social media routine. Uh, things that I have to take care of every day. Every blog that I'm on, every blog, I have to go check the blog, I have to share on social media, I have my own social media to take care of. So I, I have a list made of everything that I need to do every day. Uh, I also have my, remind, remind myself that every day I have to do Twitter and Facebook, check Pinterest. So these are all the things that I need to do when I've got it a rough schedule of what I have to do. I made a tab for this called Routines. Again, with the uh, sticky tabs from the dollar store and my label maker. On the front, I have what I call my master household routines. And this is the week, Monday through Sunday, divided into morning, noon, afternoon, and evening. And in here, I a general outline of all my household tasks, like to remember to take out the garbage on Monday night because Tuesday is garbage and recycling day, so I don't forget. Remember to feed the cat, clean the cat litter. <laughs> remember to go shopping for food or... Uh, office supplies, schedule maps. I'm very bad at taking care of myself, so I have to schedule that for myself. And when, don't forget to, fill, don't forget to start the dishwasher before going to sleep at night. All these things that I don't want to forget. So this also goes in my binder. Uh, what's fun is that I can take this in and out of my binder without opening the rings. It just snaps in. And it's very tough plastic, which is great. After that, I have what is called in the YouTube world a dashboard. It is a board. It is cardboard, basically, that I laminated on 
the side with some very pretty packaging tape and some washi tape here. And it's just a bunch of post-it notes that are glued down to this. That's all it is. That is a dashboard. And um, then I know these colors represent certain things for me or people where I've color-coded my family members and I've color-coded my activities also. I have my own system so I can make notes and put it in the appropriate section. So this goes inside the planner. On the back of the planner I put got this little chart out of another oops another older agenda and it's all the metric conversions. After that I put in my main what I call my main planner. I have it on this strip. It goes in here. But I'm gonna go to the bottom part now. I tore this out of an other old used agenda. It had a map and with the time zones for the US and part of Canada. Uh, and it's glossy, it's it's already protected. And all the area codes for the US. No Canadian ones, but um, I have another sheet for that. I just punched three holes in there. And now I stick that at the back of my binder. I have this website analytics, a printout I got from the homeschoolcreations.net website, free printables. I'm using this one for analyzing um, my page views and all that boring stuff that we bloggers have to, to do. And again, it's in one of those snap in, snap out pages with a tab that I made here that says analytics. Then I have a couple pages uh, for my websites. I'll show you on this side because there's no private information. Websites and blog login help. Uh, again, from the homeschoolcreation.net website. Uh, this is a free printable and I printed it out and on it I can include all my addresses, my websites, my passwords and such. I covered it because I don't want you guys to see my, my passwords. Okay, and I made a label for it again right here with the sticky tab. So over that I have the calendar, the YouTube planning calendar and my magazine submission calendar my blog post calendar and there we have it so this measure is about eight and a half by eleven it's great for me to bring from my office to my studio to the main part of my house. If I need to bring it to a meeting outside of my house, I can bring the whole thing. Uh, I don't take this shopping with me, of course not, because it's way too heavy. I have a personal uh, purse size agenda that I got from the dollar store and uh, I have copied in here personal and family medical appointments and such um, and when I'm out and about with my family and we have to make another appointment I can make an appointment on my iPhone but I also like paper and I also like to write down sometimes I have to make notes about remember next time to bring such and such a, a document or um, details that I write down quickly in here and this just goes in my purse when I come home, I take it out of my purse, I put it on my agenda, so anything that I wrote down in here gets transferred into the big agenda. Anything that might have been put in the big agenda uh, that would be useful to me to have while I'm out and about gets put in here. But the, at least this is really tiny. This is way too tiny to put everything I need to manage my entire life, but uh, with professionals and friends that I would need are all in here. So this goes like this, the elastic. 
I can slip my iPad in here, my iPhone, and off I go to another part of my house, sit down and work on my planner. So it's, I just wanted to show you how easy and cheaply you can put together a super beautiful mega planner that will fit your own personal needs. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and you can come visit me over at my blog, it makes, and you'll see other things I'm up to. Okay, keep on crafting. <laughs>